the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. How many more lessons we need to learn? Then to this entire life is not enough for us. People may think if we are not able to learn, then how we can live practically? That's why our Lord has given for us the great privilege to study the word of the Lord every day, to listen to the word of the Lord every day, and to grow up in the word of the Lord every day. It is not a weekly basis that you need to take. Therefore, dear brethren, it is essential for us to note how our Lord has been choosing us so that we could be absolutely worthy to stand at the judgment seat of Christ as we manifest the great holiness of Jehovah with great patience of endurance. Many of the people may not have understood the simple truth, what it meant to say to be enduring for Jehovah. The real reason is in true grace of our Lord, every believer has been given this great privilege to endure. Many of the people who are been standing in the pulpit they are not able to make content or satisfy so that they could be inclined or well pleasing for which our lord has called enoch in the old testament time could prove it our lord chosen the israelites to prove that they could be thousands of thousands coming along on this earth to be the stars of heaven on the earth but the israelites also failed Though Enoch proved a single man without the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, the true purpose. Today, Hebrews 11 stands of return for our admonition. That which was well pleasing, Enoch performed it. But we are not able to understand what is dokimazo, the test wherewith we can put our money. And this is a challenging test in Ephesians 5, 9 and 10. Proving what is well-pleasing to Lord. Proving or making known what it could be well-pleasing to Jehovah. So that they could really glorify him in the light, in the fire. So that among the midst of this sea, that is what people, people can know what it is to glorify that great Lord when we are being chosen as a signet for him. But many men cannot understand the simple truth to prove dokimazo so that they could be really worthy of it. The first thing which we can prove is rebound. Getting back into fellowship under the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. The second one which has to be to use the three power options. The three spiritual skills under the two power options. The ten problem solving devices. And to rightly divide the word of the Lord with proper isagogical, categorical, and exegetical explanation of the word, with the right and true dispensing technique of dispensations. But many men do not learn these things because men love darkness. They are afraid to expose the deeds what they have done in darkness in the light and go and confess and get back to the reality of the truth. That is how the Christian Dhamma is today. The doctrine of Balaam, the doctrine of Nicolothines, the doctrine of Jezebel. But our Lord gives us a great caution of warning. The one who overcomes, I will give him an iron rod. And he is going to smash out the clay potter wherewith he doesn't keep the clay. Besides that, our Lord is going to give us a morning star to rule with him as our Lord has been given the authority to rule over the nations. Only when we overcome these three departments, synagogue of Satan, Satan's throne, Satan's copulation point to produce false teachers, the doctrine of Jezebel, when we come out like Elijah, then only we can rule with Jehovah forever and forever. 
But if you're having one leg in the world and one leg in the, in the, in the realm of thinking of doctrine and not able to understand, you are going to lose it, dear brethren. You are going to lose that which has been so precious for you. Because he has been taken with such kind of a great preciousness in the sight of Jehovah with his blood. That you have been saved. And now with this precious doctrine, you need to learn the mind of Christ. You need to know the reality of the word. And you need to come back for the purpose where you have been kept alive over here on this earth. But many of the people do not even know what is the true purpose. They have not even come known to know why they have been kept alive in this earth, even after salvation. Dear brethren, this is what you and I should know when we have been given this great privilege under the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to learn that. But we love that which is not right. We think of that which is not proper. And we consider this is our only life. This could be our only procedure. No, it cannot be, dear brethren. We have been called to know the truth. We have been called to witness the truth. As our Lord was been manifested, to show forth the works of devil, which is what we wrote in First John 3, 8. He came to smash them out. So we are here to really dissolve it, to really expose it, to really teach it. Without proper isagogical teaching, you cannot expose the deep things of Satan so that the believers could be absolutely firm. Do you know what happens today in the Christian realm? Men love that which is absolutely fakery rather than confession of their sins where they have sinned against the Lord and they got the sickness and the wrong good doings in their life so that they should be corrected and get back. Everyone whom our Lord loves, he chastens with Hebrews 12.6. But they don't want to look upon that principle. They want to forego about that principle. Do you know why? Because doctrine is such kind of a powerful weapon. Satan trembles at doctrine. Therefore, Satan rises in the copulation of it, in the synagogues, false teachers, miraculous healers, healings, workings, all this sort of mental attitude works where they do not have proper knowledge of Bible doctrine after the completion of canon of scripture. And they think it is absolutely great for them to do this and to do that, which is very wrong. And this man, when they have come, they absolutely lose out. They absolutely do not think what it has to be the right one. And Satan blinds their minds and eyes not to know the doctrine. That is what today's process is, today's procedure is. Men love darkness rather than truth. Men do not want to know the doctrine because Satan trembles at doctrine and people do not have time to love that great doctrine. That is what the problem is. Dear brethren, you need to know our life is too short on this earth. To none of the persons our Lord has told, sit at my right hand till I make thy enemy footstool. Only to our Lord. And we belong to that great Lord as friends and to that great Father who has sent as sons. What else can we want? Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ called us, you no longer are slaves to me, but you are friends to me. Why? Because we are communicating in doctrine. The mind of him, what it has been given, we need to teach. But we are unprofitable slaves. That which is our work, we have to do it. That is due unto the glory of Jehovah, we have to do it. And we cannot stay here doing this or doing that, but we need to teach that which is right, which is correct, which is proper, which is perfect, and which endures forever. But men do not know how to expose. Men do not know how to teach. Because men do not have the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher, because they have not loved my Lord to know and to carry this responsibility with great caliber in them when tested, no matter what, like hupomene, they stand, rather than macrothumias, so that they could be easily vanishing off. Against all odds, against all hopes, they stand. That is what hupomene is. That is what our Lord has called for us. Against every circumstance which is odd, you have to endure it. But men today just change for the belly. Just change because they don't come as the people are not increasing in his church. One of the pastors, moron in India, he tells. He was teaching the word of the Lord, it seems, earlier. He had only 300 people. And then he asked, Lord, Lord, why my people are not increasing? Why are they not coming? And the Lord said, because you don't have the gift of healing. 
And then when he got the gift of healing, people started to rise up more than 30,000. That's what he quotes. That's what he tells. This is the way how Satan really misguides them. Why they're not able to be under hypomeno, to endure? Because they do not know the true value of the word of the Lord. They do not understand Bible doctrine. They do not know what is the power of teaching. Only Satan knows what is the power of teaching of Bible doctrine. So Satan trembles. And speedily, said Apostle Paul, we can trample, we have trampled it. But the men do not know what is the power of Bible doctrine, dear brother. Whereas in Psalms 84, we have the great verse which tells to us, we not only tremble serpents, dragons, including even lions. When we are trembling only to be to be trampling Satan under our feet, then when you will do lion or dragon. Don't you not know how much more our Lord has given to us these things? Dear brethren, think over this. Time is very short. Doctrine is too large to talk, to teach to you all. Don't waste your time. Think about that which is absolutely having virtue rather than morality. So consider all these things as we shall come back and continue tomorrow with our head and eyes closed. The closing moments be dedicated to those who are here without crash, without hope, without eternal life. In our ability, telling to Lord God the Father that we believe upon Christ, that is the moment that we shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for us, a very simple believing Christ, we shall be saved. Whereas, Father, we liberate the great man to grow up in grace and knowledge of Bible doctrine. You shall not talk about to pass the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor teacher, carry us on and herald the word in and out of season, because of the diamond from my witnesses, where they have been called. The number one diamond from my witnesses in dwelling trinity, followed by Bible in our hands. And the number two diamond from my witnesses are here. If there are no hearers, not worry, besides nature, the entire angel goes to witnesses. And we need to know only one thing. Lord God, the whole spirit dwelling in us with the trinity, he is also our number one witnesses for us. And Bible in our hands, what we hold, each and every word, have we thought it or not, that will stand against us if you are not teaching them. Not to worry about the softies, think about the glory and honor of God, which, which is due unto Him for eon and for eon. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, lend us things and make it so the blessing and talents, our Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.